All right guys, how you doing? It's Rabia, hope you're all well. So this video is all about discovering new pedals. I've got a few pedals that have been sent and received over the last couple of months, and I haven't had a chance really to dig into them until right just now in this video. So this is the pedal board that I've built. First pedals I'll talk about on this board are the Strymon pedals, because they're probably the most simple and straightforward to use in this case. Um, I've got the Cloudburst and the Brig, which is a reverb and a delay. Uh, as far as I understand, the Cloudburst or is, is the cloud algorithm maybe from the Big Sky with some tweaks, and the Brig, I believe, is the Brigadier, Brigadier, I don't know how you say it, uh, delay. Um, it's a D-bucket delay. Both of those pedals, I imagine, together sound incredible, uh, so I figured it was a good opportunity to do that on this board, and those can provide the ambience and the sort of bed of ambience for this particular pedal board. But the, the three pedals that I'm really excited about are the Chase Bliss ones because it's new grounds for me, it's new territory in the world of effects really. So the first one I want to talk about is the Generation Loss Mark II. It's like a tape emulator. When they say generation loss, it's the idea that tape, when you've recorded over it so many times, it, de it degrades, it loses its quality. And this kind of takes that to the nth degree in the sense that it emulates tape degradation, but you can do all sorts of other crazy stuff with it. Picked it up in Tokyo when I was out there with Neural DSP because Ryan Morgan said, he's the one of the guys at Neural, said it's an absolutely amazing pedal and you'll really enjoy it. Now, the next pedal I want to talk about is this beast. This is the Preamp Mark II. Now, some of you guys are going to know about this pedal that's been around for a while, the Mark II. I'm not sure how long it's been around, but I know a lot of people love this pedal. It's very highly uh, sought after and talked about. It's a collaboration with Benson, and it features a bunch of amazing features, really. It's, of course, it's a drive and fuzz. Uh, I th believe it's the Benson preamp drive and fuzz. I don't actually know the inner workings of it as such, but it features those kind of tones, you know, drive and, and fuzz, and you can change clipping and diode, and you can have an open or gated fuzz, germanium, silicon. And then lastly, we've got the mood. Now, when I spoke to uh, Chase Bliss, and they were saying, what kind of thing do you like? And I said, well, I'm really into like ambient soundscapes and creating moods on my guitar, you know, sort of just ambient sort of, you know, soundscapes and textures and, and just atmospheres and all that kind of stuff. And they said, yeah, the mood's probably the one for you then because it's basically a micro looper, a reverb and a delay all in one. And you can degrade the signal, uh, bit crush it, you can, you know, change all sorts of different things. And yeah, basically that's what it does. Again, this isn't a demo, so I'd actually know exactly what all the switches do or all the pedals do, but that's the point of the video is for me to just mess around and find some cool sounds. In terms of signal chain, we go, we've got these little jacks on the side here, but we go into the board, into a tuner, into the preamp mark two, and then out. And then all these are in the loop. So it starts here, then it goes here, and then it goes to the delay and the reverb. Because so I figured I would put the two kind of main manipulative sort of tonal pedals first and then add a layer of ambience on top rather than the other way around because I want those to be sort of clean in the signal in a sense that you're hearing delay and reverb at the back end. So that's basically what it is, super simple, easy to set up. Uh, and yeah, the rig other than that is my Victory VX Kraken uh, and I'm running uh, just the amp, there's no other pedals, just this pedal board into the amp uh, and then I'm going to use my Music Man guitars and we're going to find out how it all sounds. So let's go.
Well, there you go. I hope you enjoyed this tonal adventure with me. Um, I really, really got lost in a lot of those sounds, uh, combining them all together. Um, it was interesting to hear, stacking them all up, how they do different things. Um, you know, the Mood is a really interesting pedal that I'm going to have to spend some time working out how it actually works. The Generation Loss is one that you have to be careful because it can get some really intense sounds, especially through a guitar amp. I imagine the Generation Loss through like a synth or, you know, patching it out of your interface or desk to use as an effect is probably incredible. But with regards to the guitar into an amplifier that's you know, quite gainy, um, it can have a tendency to be really brash and really intense on your ears. So I was having to be careful dialing that in, but the effect that it actually provides was really cool and combined with the mood, created some very dulcet, you know, like moody uh, soundscapes. So I was really impressed with those two. Um, the preamp Mark II, I mean, I knew I was going to like it, but I didn't expect it to be that ridiculously good. Like the tones I was getting from it, the fuzz tones were sick, the drive tones, very clear. It feels very pristine, the tone. Um, so I'm really, really impressed. And the fact that it's MIDI programmable is a bonus. It's not just a one trick pony. You can really dial in a bunch of different presets, use it. So I'm going to see how I can incorporate that into the main board because that actually might be one of the main drives because I can get you know, tube screamer style drive, I can get push clean drives, I can get, you know, like distortion from it. And then on top of that, I can get fuzz, gated fuzz, silicon fuzz, and it's all programmable. That's very, very exciting for me um, that it does it all in one box. And then with regards to the Strymon stuff, well, I knew, I mean, I know that they're great because I use Strymon all the time. I've got the Strifecta on the board and I just know that what they make and what they do is fantastic. So as far as I'm concerned, it was a win-win to put those on the board and it's nice to actually get them on there and try them out because uh, I've had them a little while. But overall, I thoroughly enjoyed myself with that. I hope the tones were all right. I hope the playing was cool. I hope John's managed to make it into a video that isn't ridiculously long. But thank you all for coming on this tonal journey with me. Really enjoyed it. Uh, but anyway, that is the video. So thank you for watching. Links in the description box to all this gear. On top of that, I may as well say, follow me, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, please subscribe. Uh, I've got music out as well if you want to find that on all streaming platforms. New music on the way very soon. I've got merch at sleeplessapparel.co.uk. Um, so yeah, please just check out the description box for some links and uh, hopefully you'll find something that works for you. Anyway, thanks for watching. I've been Rabir and I'll see you all very soon.